Hello, my name's Cathy Lewis and I've been a consultant nutritionist, health promotion specialist and management consultant for the last 20 years now. Um, and I specialise mainly in travel nutrition, uh, executive wellbeing, corporate, employee vitality and also family health and nutrition. I started off with my first degree in nutrition and food science. I attained a, a double major and then I um, was employed as a, a weight loss consultant and went into executive type diets, specialised diets, eating out, writing. <clears throat> and then I went um, and did a master's in business and kind of changed careers for a bit. So I then went into management consultancy, mainly in marketing and communications. But look, working in large global international companies and hitting the road as I, I travelled from location to location. So I understood and do understand the pressures that a business executive has when they're travelling. And then I also did a, a Master's of Distinction in Psychology and Health Promotion. So I, I've done quite a bit in health promotion as well. I use a lot of my marketing qualifications in talking to people and I have developed quite a few concepts and um, implement different ways of actually communicating to people. So I do a lot of engagement work and, um, and I use that to, to promote healthy eating and uh, mental health in the workplace and to consumers. But I think what I'm most proud of is some of the unusual projects that I've taken on, whether it's an, a business um, looking at sort of different systems and meeting deadlines, or whether it's in a school actually teaching families how to cook. Um, each time it's, it's quite unique, and I do tend to take on work that I think is going to be enjoyable and exciting and different. I particularly love travel nutrition because I can combine all three aspects of my experience and training and I can go overseas and look around and come back and use that experience to help people that have to travel. So if you're travelling overseas you generally find that it's heavy traffic, there's delays in airports, there's um, changes of flights, going on to a different transport mechanism, um, strikes, whatever the case might be. And in those times it's more difficult to actually not feel stressed. You might thrive or you might wilt by the time you get to your destination. And if you need to be at your peak performance or you have children with you, then there are additional stresses and challenges that you have to take into account. Some of the people I talk to, business executives and parents, all seem to have a common questions that they ask. And they tend to be along the lines of what simple coping behaviours they, they can have or coping strategies and also what sort of um, detailed information they can obtain in order to make their travel easier, healthier, more comfortable and certainly more compatible with good health. Business executives tend to travel regularly or on long-haul flights, find it quite challenging to actually meet all the nutritional requirements or not to gain weight. And so those tend to be the questions. And it's all to do with preparation and planning. Um, and if you can sort of work out what you're doing before you get there, even if it's mentally, then you're much better fixed by the time you get off that plane or that train. And those are the, ten those are the things that I tend to um, help people with. There's also um, what people do when they go over to unknown countries. Are they likely to get tummy bugs? How can they avoid the dreaded um, tummy uh, upset or diarrhoea in many cases? So those sort of points change from country to country and there are different things you can do in each country that can be quite helpful. For example, if you're going to um, Far East Asia, you might want to make sure that the water you consume is very safe. And there are unknown things that people seem to trip up on, like um, sometimes on stalls they inject fruit with contaminated water, or they don't wash the glasses in a sterilised system such as a dishwasher, they simply rinse it under the tap, and that can cause contamination and tummy upsets as well. Well, if you're a business person, you of course want to be at your peak performance when you get to the other end. So you don't want to uh, be dehydrated because that would lead to fatigue, mental lethargy, 
Um, it will cause constipation, general uncomfortness. So you want to be at your peak at all times. And therefore, if simple things you can do to keep yourself hydrated um, is it's quite important. So those are the types of questions I do get asked. But generally, it's what can I eat when I'm traveling to a certain country? What do I need to avoid? And um, what can I do? Will the airlines cater for me? What sort of information can I give them to help them make that a lot more easier and pleasant during their travel. It's really nice just to be able to ring someone up and say, hey, look, I've got to go here. What do I need to do in order to get there nice and fresh and healthy? Or um, simply just to call someone and say, do you have any information on this airport so I can make sure that my diabetes or my um, intolerances to certain foods can be catered for and that that's a really lovely way of doing it just a quick one-to-one -one phone call and saying yes I've got some answers for you and I'll help you choose wisely and give you some information so you can go on your way quite quickly I love traveling it's it really is fun I particularly love flying places but I do what I do because I recognize the strains and the stresses that people go through even when they go on a business trip or they have small children I have two small children and so I know how demanding and draining they can be um, and it's important to make sure that you're aware of their nutritional needs and you meet them as well as your own because you can often neglect yourself when you're looking after someone. For the business trip, it's quite important that you know what conditions are going to be ahead of you. And so it's really enjoyable to pass on a lot of the experience and training that I have so that people can be at their peak when they get to the country destination of their choice or when they eat out and dine at meetings um, it's, it's really nice just to be able to help them and they can do their best once they get there.